How's it going guys? Tony from HonestXboxReviews.com Taking a look today at that Raging Justice on the Xbox One uh, It comes to PlayStation 4 and Switch and PC as well on May the 8th uh, If you're looking to pick it up after watching the gameplay You can pick it up for $9.99 here in the UK That's $12.99 in Euros, $14.99 in Dollars With the game also having a 10% discount during launch week as well uh, In terms of the game, I've probably got a couple of afternoons in this so far So kind of like I guess 6-7 hours in total kind of had an issue with it very early on with a corrupt save which was kind of my fault more than the game so I can't really punish it on that uh, but in terms of full review kind of on May the 8th that I'll be doing on the blog at 9am in the morning so certainly check that out uh, with this just being more about gameplay and kind of just telling you who kind of haven't heard about the game at all and kind of telling you a little bit about it rather than kind of a full review. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it's got a made from a team called Making Games, published by the team at Team 17 Limited. And it's kind of just a throwback to kind of 2D, old school 2D kind of side scrolling beat em ups. Uh, certainly for me, those games were kind of like Streets of Rage and kind of Golden Axe when growing up. So it's going to be nice to kind of revisit a kind of genre that I kind of haven't kind of played uh, for a fair few amount of years now because it's kind of very rare that you see them released now, or kind of certainly for me, not ones that I've kind of come across or picked up or kind of wanted to play. Um, this kind of looked different though, it kind of looked like the kind of more like Streets of Rage kind of feel, the kind of games that I enjoyed back when I was younger. Uh, and certainly giving that to another generation of kind of gamers who kind of probably haven't experienced that before is kind of you know, always good in my book. So certainly it'd be good for them and kind of those who kind of like the retro feeling games uh, to kind of check that out. And in terms of the game itself, it's two modes for you to play. You've got kind of a campaign which kind of lets you play one of three characters. Uh, kind of all got different special abilities. Uh, if you play kind of Streets of Rage, you know the kind of deal. Uh, they've all got their own special abilities, uh, and you kind of work for a set amount of levels. With the story being that the mayor's gone, you know, got been kidnapped, and you've got to go and rescue him. Uh, but kind of the story itself, it kind of, you know, it's there, but it don't really need to be. It's kind of just basically you working through levels, beating people up, and beating bosses up. There's also a, another kind of mode that you can play as well, which is brawl, which is kind of more like a wave kind of deal, kind of you know, work through waves, beating people up. Uh, you know, obviously, once you die, that's kind of that, that game over. Uh, so it's kind of more like the highest waves you can reach, and that's about it. Uh, in terms of kind of the game, where it kind of differs, kind of with older games, at least, there's kind of a few things that kind of make it a bit, you know, a bit more up to date. Certainly, on, on, on some of the levels, that, you know, well, basically all the levels, there's kind of challenges that you can take part in, and kind of, you know, earning a set amount of cash or beating the game in a set amount of time. But there's also a cool new thing, which kind of like it's kind of a thing that you can do, which is arrest people. Uh, so it kind of the game gives you like a set amount of people uh, names kind of at the start of the game, which you can see by the pause menu, and they kind of flash up on red on kind of the screen when they come on the screen. Uh, basically, it's your job to kind of knock them to a state where they get stunned, and then by pressing the B button, you kind of arrest them. Uh, but I'll go into a bit more detail with that when kind of review and the embargo is lifted, and I can kind of talk a bit more better about that. But it's kind of just a you know cool feature that I thought you need to know about going in and kind of knowing that in the game. Uh, in anything else, like say you've got the uh, you know your normal combat move, which is kind of jump, kick, and punch. You also by pressing Y and X, I think it is, uh, you've kind of got your special move as well. So if you've kind of seen games like Street of Rage and stuff like that, you kind of know what to expect there. You kind of just normally kind of a jumpy move where you kind of can knock the whole screen down or get your stuff out of a sticky patch. Uh, but yeah, like I say, I'll let you look at some just game gameplay itself. This will be from level two because level one's kind of a more of a tutorial kind of level, uh, and this is kind of gives you a better look at it at least. Uh, so yeah, certainly go and check it out on May the 8th when it releases, but certainly go and check out the review before that, which will go on the blog, like I say, on May the 8th at 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, the day of release. Uh, so yeah, just thanks for watching, hopefully I'll be back again soon with another video, I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these. Uh, I hopefully want to do a bit more of this, so kind of, this is kind of one side I kind of enjoy more doing, but it's kind of harder to get to do. Uh, but it's kind of, it's weird because it's hard to do, you know, it's quicker to do and kind of just talk to my phone and put some gameplay up and show you what you need to see. Uh, than sit there and type it for three hours on my laptop uh, and doing all that kind of stuff but it's kind of hard to do with the family in the house and kind of stuff. I've explained that enough times before so I'm not going to go into it uh, so yeah just you know if you like what you see you can pick up the game like I say May 8th uh, I've told you the prices thanks for watching hopefully I get to speak to you again soon bye <laughs>
Let's <laughs> go.